Hey YouTubers, it's Platt here, and today I'm going to show you how to make limoncello. So let's go! For those of you that have never had limoncello before, or even heard about it, I'll give you a little background. Limoncello is an extremely popular, sweet Italian liqueur. It's actually the second most popular Italian liqueur. Now, it's made in Italy, and that's where its origins are from, but it can't be produced where California produces a ton of limoncello. There's also other varieties of cello. There's orange cello and raspberry cello, and I believe there's even people producing a peach cello. But lemon, by far, is the most popular of all the cellos. And basically, it's just lemon peels with sugar and high proof spirit. Well, now I've given you a little background, let's make some limoncello. This is what we need to make our limoncello. First and foremost, you need lemons. I'm using 10 large lemons. Um, they don't have to be organic or whatever, but make sure they're just good quality lemons. Next, we're going to use uh, three cups of sugar. Any kind of sugar is fine. Uh, I haven't played around with brown sugar or agave nectar or anything like that. I'm just sticking with simple white table sugar. Next, we're going to need spirit. Now, some people, if you want it low octane, they use uh, vodka, but uh, I like mine high octane, so I'm going to use Everclear. But any kind of high proof grain alcohol will do. And last but not least, you're going to need some kind of jar to uh, let our lemon peels macerate in. Well, now that we've got everything, let's get to making some limoncello. The first thing we need to do to make limoncello is to cut lemon peels. Now, before you get started on cutting the peels, you have to make sure to wash the lemons, take off any exterior stickers, dirt, what have you. So, clean your lemons first, and then either use a potato peeler, a zister, a knife, however you want to do it, but we want to take the peel off the lemon. Now, to caution you, you don't want to cut too deep because you, and get any of that white pith because that adds a, a bitter flavor to it. And remember, we're making a sweet liqueur. Well, I better get to cracking all these lemons. We'll uh, come back when I'm done. All right, well, I've got our lemons peeled, and I've thrown them all, all the peels in our jar. And next thing, we're going to add our Everclear. Now, this is a uh, 750 milliliter bottle of Everclear. And we're going to dump the whole thing inside. All right. And we're going to let this sit for a week. And throughout the week, you'll, you'll see how the liquid will start changing colors, becoming yellow. And after the end of the week, then we'll create our sugar solution. So I'm going to put the lid on this, and we'll come back in a week. All right, gang. So we've had our lemon zest soaking in our alcohol for a week and now we're getting ready to add our sugar solution. First we have to make it. And if you remember back to our syrup videos you're going to realize, recognize this ratio. We're taking three cups of sugar and adding it to three cups of water. And to make any kind of syrups you want to heat up the water. We're almost getting close to boil now and then once you, you want to stop it before you get to boil so we've got the water heated up. I'm going to add my three cups of sugar right now. And we're going to just stir it in until it is completely mixed. Once we get her fully mixed in, we're going to take her off the heat. And we're going to allow her to cool. Once she's cooled, we're going to add her in with the alcohol and the peels. And we're going to let that sit for a few days. And then after that, we'll be ready to strain her off and getting ready to get uh, our limoncello ready to drink. So let me stir in this sugar, we're gonna let her cool down and add her, and then we'll come back and siphon off the liquid off the peels. All right, so it's been a little less than a week since I've added their sugar solution in with the lemon peels and high proof spirit, and we're ready to strain her off and bottle her up. Now I always just throw in this in your freezer because limoncello out of the freezer is delicious. What we have here is roughly 75 proof. We start off with 
50 proof grain alcohol in there. And by the time we add our sugar solution, it cut down the alcohol proof. We're now down the mid 70s or so. There's also a couple of variants to cello, lemon cello that are kind of popular out there. Some you might want to try next time. Orange cello, and there's also raspberry cello out there. The orange cello is probably the easiest to translate the recipe to because you're literally just changing lemons to oranges. Citrus peels are pretty interchangeable. Well, I hope you liked this video. And if you did, please subscribe down below. And as always, if you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section. Or you can always get a hold of me on the Twitter page. Well, bottoms up.